Oh, it's morning. Man, I probably look terrible, eh, baby. Let me put my glasses on, man, because I probably look terrible, man. So you can't see my eyes. Woo! Oh, oh, respect. Hey, you know, I was at a, I was at a church last night. My church was in the, not in the sanctuary, but in the whatever. And there was a, there was an event because they sent us some, uh, you know, how old churches, a lot of churches have missionary kind of things, but they're supporting some some village in Sierra Leone, you know, ravaged by you know the Diamond Wars and all that sort of stuff. Anyway, it's a good cause, it's a good cause. Hey, I'm not, you know. Anyway, so I was there. I had to read some poetry because it was supposed to be poetry reading. It turned into like a poetry reading testimony thing, kind of kind of interesting thing. In fact, uh, I posted, I'll, I'll put the link to what, what I did there before, but I realized that I was telling about Bill Goon, you know, how Goon, when it comes to the Cuban strain, it's like, uh, you know, black, uh, green, with a dash of red. And so, uh, so you know, when I wear this, I feel like I'm in my Ogun mode, right? But then, this morning, and the way, what happened, what happened? Oh, I'm put, I'll try to put all this stuff together. So, uh, Yes, as I as I mentioned with that thing, um, uh, uh, a main man uh, down there in Atlanta, you know, we call him the voice because it's Nelson. Nelson has a voice, you know, like you know, he should be doing some voiceovers and stuff like that. Well, he sends me stuff from time to time. You know, it's like remember I said, look at your sources. You know, at one one point I said, look at your sources. So if you're looking at Fox and CNN and, and MSNBC all the time, you're going to have one kind of head. You know what I mean? If you're reading the New York Times, you're going to have another kind of head. If you're reading the fan, Financial Times, you're going to read another, whatever. This fact, this is whatever. Anyway, whatever you let in. So anyway, what Nelson does for me, uh, because he's like cultural, whatever have you, sometimes he, you know, he's trolling and not trolling, but he's, he, stuff comes his way, usually to Rolling Stone or something like that. And he's always sending me links to stuff. So I keep up my, my, my modern cultural thing through, um, through Nelson, right? So anyway, he sent me, before he sent me a link, let me just say this. So uh, the day before or last, whatever, somewhere uh, I was talking to my other man, Grayson. Grayson's like a genius, you know. Don't worry about Grayson. So I was talking to Grayson, and uh, he mentioned something, because he's always come up with something. He just say something, just be out there in the ether. Like, you might catch it, you might not. Most of the time, people don't know what Grayson's talking about. <laughs> anyway. As I mentioned this in this talk that I that I did at, at this church, which church was it? It was the uh, it was the uh, let's see, it was a uh, uh, Trinity United Methodist Church, and they're at in uh, four seventeen Montgomery Street in Highland Park, New Jersey. So it was the Trinity United Methodist Church. This event took place in Highland Park, New Jersey, and so uh, so. Well, I, I did a poem just that that morning because uh, Grayson said something. He, he sometimes just threw these words. I'd be saying something. He'd say, you know, blah, 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 blah. So the words he said is vessels talking about the current state of the world called vessels for ghosts. Vessels for goats. So I wrote this poem about vessels for ghosts. I'm not going to do the poem with you. I'll, 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 I'll put it in. I, I posted, on, I mean, the, the thing that I did with United Methodist, the little talk that I gave, I, I posted the poem in the line, in the line of notes, whatever we call that, the, the notes for that. So anyway, uh, so so I was thinking about that, haunted me, and I went to sort of thing like that. Then, so then this morning, I wake up, I check my internet as usual, and what do I see? Grayson, not Grayson, yeah, well, Grayson sent me, not Grayson, um, um, Steve. Steve, not Steve. Sure. See Steve tonight from uh, from the Boys and Girls New Boogie Group. Steve him tonight from Liquid Satellites. We're gonna throw all these names out there. Um, who am I gonna to see today? Who 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 who? who, who uh, Steve, this is uh, then. Oh, Nelson sent me this article. Uh, it's about in St. Louis of all places. Gotta go to St. Louis in a few weeks. There, there's this white guy that's suing his parents for being white. I'll let you digest it as I as I remember that I got a this is my uh, chlorophyll. Make my little thing. Whoop, whoop. Chlorophyll in there. Morning juice. Some uh cranapple juice. I don't know how much sugar this have in here. Let me check this. Because you're know, still a commercial product. And you know they have all kinds of things they have in that shit. Well, so uh, total carbohydrates, twenty-seven percent. Not too shabby, as long as it's under the, the two-digit thing for me, it's cool. So I had my chlorophyll in there, 
put my little bit of juice in there. And, uh, oh, here's my pills. I got to take them off. I forgot. Usually you only know, take whatever. Let me just throw them all in at one time. I can do this stuff dry anyway. When I was a kid, I used to do the pills dry. Oh, that bad combination. So, this kid is, 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 is suing his parents for being white. He says, it causes so much distress, there's white privilege throughout his life. Okay, now I got to take this. All right, now, my Ogun cap says one thing, but then I realized because it's like a tan and I put it to the side like that, Artists do this, you know, like like in the Parisian time, they got the little Tams inside poets, you know. You see, read Eugene Reverend, he's always wearing a Tam like that. So I'm looking at Ogun, Ogun, you know, as a warrior is one way, then Ogun as a healer. And now I'm looking as, I can use this Ogun, the artiste. Well, it's a good idea. Don't be, let me shed some light on this. Wait a second. Hold on. The artiste. That's what, what? Ogun the artiste. My, my, my Ogun cap, I have my Ogun car, artiste cap on. Sometimes it's Ogun healing cap, sometimes it's Ogun war, warrior cap, but now it's Ogun artiste cap. Now this is going to play, you, you see, so you laugh. Well, well, you might not be laughing. You might understand that I'm serious. I'm deadly serious about this. I'm going to say Ogun and deadly in the same sentence. Anyway. I'm saying, because, you know, next few weeks I have to work on this play, this audio drama that we're doing. And I got to say, oh, and these two student classes are coming, you know, well, uh, university classes are coming. So I think I got the end of the play. It's going to revolve around an alternative um, jury trial. And the jury is by by the kids, you know, more the kids, by, by the kids at the university, uh, people and participants that come to this live audio drama. But I'm going to mix in this whole thing. Because, you know, everybody, when they, when they write, I, I take things all the time. I read all of her uh, Ayn Rand stuff because for a number of reasons. But one of the things that she did, I mean, all of her stuff. I don't know how these right wings come up with whatever. I don't know what they come up with, but she wrote a lot of stuff. And one of the things she wrote is this play where the jury is, is made up of the audience members. So that's what I'm going to do with the audio drama, I think. Still in the final phases of putting this together. So I just wanted to let you know. But, but okay. Let me go back. So the reason why I said that and how, how, it, how it relates to Eidos. So I'm thinking, this kid, right? You can have an expert witness and say, well, a kid doesn't have to uh, sue his parents because what he wants to do, he wants to give himself, so pay this medical bill, give him his injection so he can be black. He wants to turn black because he had his white, which is white problem all his life, of being white. His parents would know, say, what they would ever have you. But here's what I say. This is going to be so funny. I can hear the black, the comedian saying some stuff, the white supremacist saying some stuff, and both of them saying, wait, after he finishes this operation, it's going to make him his skin black. You know, even though we know Eidos or blackness is a mentality, is not a skin color. Because, you know, you can be black and be from the continent. You have another mentality than black. from Because one of the kids would say that he's from, from Ghana. Yeah, he's Ghana. Ghana, I think he's from Ghana. And, uh, and his idea, you know, uh, well, his his blackness is different, and he grew up in the states, but still his black blackness is different than than ADOS blackness. If you go through this thing, so there's so different kinds of black. So his, so when he does this injection to blacken his skin, this white guy in St. Louis, his teenager, he's a teenager. What's going to actually happen? He's still going to have this white skin privilege that that informs if his skin color. So he doesn't understand he's still going to be out of it. So I would have an expert witness saying that, well, look, kid, you could do that if you want. But, you know, what you should do is just become an ally to ADOS. And that way, you know, you can address your mental, well, you know, your mental state like that. But back to what I was going to say, the joke, because I'm going to end it here. So, you know, the black communities, all the black people are going to be saying the same thing that the white supremacists are going to be saying, which is, that nigga crazy. That's it for me. T from the Patterson's taking the train to Tibet. Let you know what I only suspect from what? From a reality of A D O S. <laughs>